Now this video show you how to adjust the on and offset points for summer and uh, winter operation. So when you walk up to it, it'll normally say this unless it says alarm, which it says right now. You'll, you'll see the red light up here in the corner. If it shows that alarm, all you got to do is push these two buttons simultaneously and it brings you back to the screen. Other than that, leave it alone because you, you don't even have to change it uh, if you don't want to. But if you want to see this screen, just hit those two buttons uh, the first time this alarm comes up after uh, the alarm has been off. Now, let's go adjust the set point. So you just push the page button and push that button until we see the alarm inputs and we, there it says analog alarm now you'll see this is analog alarm one and it is for summer operation so analog alarm one is for summer and the reason you know that is it says abs high that's absolute high right now i just set it at 72 so that way the water temperature in the loop has to get to 72 if you want to change that push this scroll button and you'll see this little symbol move down and once it moves down, these two little up and down arrows light up on the threshold. Now, you can change where the pump starts and stops. Right now, it's got to get over 72 degrees. I'll just leave it at 70 for now. Just It's random. You need to figure out what uh, works best for you. So in other words, when the loop temperature internally in the building gets over 70, the pump will come on. Below 70, it will shut off. And we can uh, demonstrate that if we were on summer but we're on winter so now I want to go look at winter so just hit the page button one time and then it comes back up here to type hit it again and you'll see it moved up here where I got the up and down arrows now I'm gonna to go to analog analog alarm 2 which is absolute low which is for winter and right now I set it at 61 because the temperature as you can see is 60 so it doesn't come on unless the temperature is below 61 if we page down, which I'll page down right here, I land on 61 and I set it at 59, we'll see the alarm went off and we'll see that the pump has stopped. It's at zero hertz, the run light is off. Okay, so now we're going to turn it back on. So I'm going to just set it at 61. Okay, there, analog alarm two come up. It's popping. It's 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 uh, blinking here, telling us that hey, we have an alarm. But if you look up here at the pump, you'll see the pump is running. The run light is on, and we're at the minimum speed of 30 hertz. And we'll see the temperature on the loop went to 59 as soon as I turned it off. So it started cooling off. Now, you you can leave this up, but like I say, there you'll see it says press page and scroll to acknowledge. Just hit them one time. Okay, now you'll see the alarm has been acknowledged and it's telling you that because it's flashing. And then this takes you to your root screen where we had it last. If you don't mess with this, after a while it'll go ahead and go back to the working set point. Or if I just push those two buttons again, that's my home page. And it shows right now I'm at 2.7%, so the pump's just barely running. And the set point is 60. Now it looks like to me that the, uh, the loop temperature in here it's staying pretty much near 60 anytime the pump is running. So that tells me you could probably slow the pump down some more and save some more energy, but you'll have to uh, uh, play with that and see. What I mean by slowing it down is either raise, uh, raise this um, minimum up here so the set point's a little bit higher uh, before it comes on, or uh, change your minimum speed up here so you don't put as much water out. Again, that's the kind of things that you got to find. If you have some questions, please call. Thanks. Bye.